Hi and welcome to another getting started with Unity tutorial on www.unitycookie.com. My name is Gabriel Williams and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the basics of scripting. Uh, we're actually taking this from a completely square one approach, especially on this scripting uh, since as a uh, initially pure artist myself, as it was uh, always a bit of a terrifying uh, thought to uh, start looking at scripting and try to do that myself. But I found with Unity it's actually uh, one of the best things about using the engine is how easy it is to script um, yourself and not have to rely on, on, on others to help you finish up your art and make it actually work as a game. Uh, within a, a few months of starting to learn the, uh, the JavaScript in Unity, I was able to create uh, a couple games and even get some up on the Apple Store. So it's a great way to go learning this yourself uh, and very, very simple. Uh, so we'll start, um, first I want to show a bit of a, something that I find useful for starting the first time is if you go under edit, preferences, and then uh, we're going to uh, change the, the automatic uh, editor that Unity uses. You'll notice if we, uh, if we have a script here, let's just pretend we have one already, don't worry, you won't see this here. And if we open this up in Unity for the first time, we wait. <laughs> uh, and then we'll have this uh, mono develop come up normally, which uh, I just happen to think is a little complicated and maybe daunting for the uh, first time user of scripting and such. So there's a much simpler uh, editor that Unity used to use in older versions that I like a little better. So if you go under Edit Preferences, and then we want to click the external script editor here, and go down to Browse. And then we need to go to, let's see, your local, uh, wherever you have the, the Unity installation. In my case, it's under uh, the C drive, program files, x86, because this is a 64-bit computer. And then Unity somewhere. There we go. Editor, data, tools, I believe. Yep, Unisite. And then just select that program file there. And now we have uh, this uh, Unisite text editor here. And you can of course switch back to MonoDevelop anytime if you like. But with that set, now if we open this up, we get this much simpler, more uh, sort of simple text document looking editor, which I, I like. It's simpler, cleaner, and uh, does everything you need. Uh, sometimes a little easier actually, uh, actually than MonoDevelop. Okay, so we have that ready to go. Uh, let me delete this, we're not worrying about it. Uh, the first thing that we want to do, of course, is to create our own script in Unity. And that's done as simple, uh, as, simple as just deleting that one there in your project folder here. We right click, go to create, and click on JavaScript. And then we can name it, so let's call this my first script or something like that. Hit enter and there we have it. So once you have your script you can either double click on it or hit enter if it's selected, whatever is easiest. And of course it will open up just like this. And whenever you create a new script it always just drops in a function update for you and nothing else. You can just hit a few lines to drop that down there. Um, so the first thing with scripting, uh, I guess very very basics, uh, very much the, the basics would be simply creating variables. Um, anytime you're scripting you always be doing lots of this. It's basically just setting up uh, containers for when you're scripting anything. If you're storing the player's score or how many lives they have left or what level you are on or it could be entire mesh objects. Uh, all sorts of things. Everything is going to be stored in variables for the most part. So this is the uh, I guess where it all starts from, and to do this, it's uh, pretty simple in JavaScript. You simply type var, v a r, space, and then create a name for this variable. So the common naming convention is to use uh, a lowercase uh, for the first word in in your name, and then uppercase for everything from there. So if this is going to be perhaps uh, the player score, I would go the player score, something like that. Or maybe uh, for maybe moving something, which I think we'll probably do later in this tutorial. Uh, let's just call this, say, uh, the player speed. There we go. 
and then we do a colon and this is where we're going to tell uh, Unity exactly what this variable is and this is going to be in this case an int which means integer which is just a simple whole number and equals let's say 5 so int equals 5 so now the player speed is 5 as simple as that so if we have this we can hit control s or click the little save button up there and I can close out of it and now we can see uh, our script is showing up over here in the inspector and if we want to actually uh, apply it to our game uh, it's very very simple uh, especially if you've ever had to use uh, Unreal or Hammer and some such uh, other engines it's pretty uh, complex to bring in your own script sometimes in Unity simply select the object that you want to apply the script to and then left click and drag from the project folder your script and bring it right over into their component list here in the inspector just drop it on there you can also actually just drag it out onto the object in the scene view or even up uh, onto the object in the hierarchy here I usually prefer to drop it right in this way just uh, simpler and there we have it the script now shows up right on there the name of it you'll notice if you typed it in using that naming convention uh, Unity automatically puts spaces in between and capitalizes the first so it makes it a little easier to look at just one more way uh, that Unity makes life a lot easier for artists uh, simple to see and understand what's going on here we also see of course that the uh, that variable we created is showing up right here so we can see it there uh, in case we need to edit it or watch if it's changing in the game we can see it right there very useful and handy uh, to make sure our script is working correctly so uh, I guess we want to make the script actually uh, actually do something so we can go ahead and open that up again and for the most part when you're making things happen in JavaScript it will always be within the function update this is what's going to happen every single frame that your game or application or whatnot is running inside of this function update we'll place anything we want to happen uh, per frame <laughs> that is so let's say we want to make this camera uh, as if it were maybe a, a cinematic camera we wanted to just move forward along uh, in this case the blue arrow here which is the z-axis so I know that that is the transform that's uh, you know its root uh, the root of this object so I want to access that somehow so Unity has a really nifty feature uh, using this uh, the JavaScript editor where I can simply type say transform so I know I want to access that. Oops, if I could uh, spell correctly. There we go, transform. And I'm going to double click that and click on the little arrow and the help sim uh, symbol up here. And Unity will open right up its script reference. And it's going to show us anything and everything, which uh, there is a lot that has something to do with uh, or in its help files that found the word transform. So probably the easiest is just to go straight to the top here, transform, and see what we can do with this. So we can click right on transform and it's going to show us a quick um, just a little demonstration of how we might use transform uh, tell us a bit about it and also then all the other um, variables functions and such that we can do with this and this is a really really nifty uh, thing that unity has here and it's honestly how I learned probably about 99 percent of JavaScript was simply clicking through oh let's see you know I can do this and then maybe what is this and so forth just linking through and, and checking all these little functions and they always have uh, very simple but uh, uh, easy to understand and, and very useful uh, little examples of how to use each code it's uh, very very handy and a, and a neat way to learn uh, learn what we need to do so in this case maybe we want to uh, move again that camera straight forward along its z-axis so if we look through here we see down here under functions uh, we have translate moves the transform in the direction and distance of translation so maybe that doesn't make a lot of sense we can go ahead and click on translate and of course we have a nice little uh, description right here and it's telling us translate it'll move it uh, x y and z and then relative to space um, we don't really have to worry about that at the moment um, but we know it's going to move it uh, as it's telling us in here uh, on these three axes, so x, y, and z in that order. So transform.translate, I can actually just copy that. 
Uh, doing a lot of copy paste is always a good idea when you're first starting. Uh, easy way to get up and running quickly. So transform.translate, simple as that. And then we want to move it on, like I said, the X, Y, and Z. So for each of these, uh, we want it to not move on the X, so we make that zero, not move on the Y. But in the Z, we do want to move, uh, actually we'll have it move the player speed variable that we created here. So I'm going to select that and paste it right there, where Z would be. And then anytime we are doing something in code like this, uh, as you also saw up here after the variable, we need to place a semicolon at the end. And now what this will do is every single frame, it will take the transform, so the root of this object, and move it zero meters in this case on the X, zero meters on the Y, and whatever the player speed is on the Z. So I'm going to hit Control S to save that. Close. Let Unity compile. There we go. And if I hit play, oops, we switched to the camera view and got confused. Uh, let's see here. We need to swap this. There we go. Okay, just because I uh, I only want to watch this in the scene view since we're actually moving the camera around. Now that we have the, that a little better, let's hit the play button. And there our camera goes, moving off just like we wanted. Uh, one last thing that you can do then, since we have this variable uh, open right here in the inspector and it's pulling this number, if you remember, we're moving the player speed this amount each frame. I can actually just edit this and say uh, 5 is too fast, maybe uh, I only want it to move one unit or one meter, I mean per frame. Hit play. And there it goes. I could even hit pause, change this to negative 3. On pause, and it's moving back. So having your script, um, again, just a super simple drag and drop onto the object, then the, of course the ability to edit it right here in the inspector during the game, uh, really powerful, easy to use. Um, just uh, another great aspect of using Unity, especially especially for artists trying to become coders, which you will soon. It, uh, it's very very easy in Unity. Uh, okay, so that's it really for uh, the intro to scripting in Unity, just trying to show off how simple and easy it is and uh, basically how to use it from the start. Um, so we hope to see you in the future uh, scripting tutorials. We're definitely, uh, we'll definitely be doing a lot more of those, getting into much more fun stuff. So see you then. Thanks.